Look at that future mama. So cute. <laughs> I only got like four hours of sleep. I'm really not in a ton of pain. I'm just really uncomfortable. Like I couldn't fall asleep if I wanted to. Wanna show off the baby? Hi Jake. So we got all our bags packed up. Nothing super urgent. Anna just has a hunch that she's in labor. So we were able to get ready this morning. We're gonna go to the hospital and they're gonna check Anna out. We don't know what's gonna happen, but join us for this fun baby roller coaster of a ride. And at the end of this video, that will be in my arms. It is now in the evening on the same day. We got all the bags packed up in the car this morning and Anna decided she wasn't ready to go to the hospital. So I think she is ready now. <laughs> I got you a Slurpee. Did you drink some of this? No. <laughs> you ready to head to the hospital? Let's go have oh, this, this baby. So good. Oh, I know, right? Mm -hmm. Let's go, let's, let's go. go. Let's go to the hospital. Wait, show off that belly. Baby bump. Oh yeah, blue tongue and everything. How do you like your hospital gown? Oh, it's good. We can hear the baby's heartbeat now. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm just super dizzy. So it looks like we're probably gonna go home tonight. Only one centimeter. Still some progress, but, but yeah. nothing crazy. So, that's okay. You can snuggle with kitties. So tough. So tough. You got this. Thanks. So it's in the afternoon the next day. Last night, Anna slept really well. It was kind of weird that that happened because that hasn't happened recently. Today's been pretty normal. We went to an OB appointment. She's a little bit more dilated, but her water is right there, which means it's ready to break. Anna saw online that this is what people do to induce a baby in. So we said, let's induce a baby. Now look at the camera and say, oh no, my water broke. Oh no, my water broke. Was that funny? That was funny. Well, it's the next day now and exciting news. The baby is coming. The baby is coming. She feels really good. She slept really well last night, but her water just broke, which means today is go time. The good news is she's not really feeling contractions right now. So we're like not in a rush, but we definitely know we're going to the hospital today. And right now it's only three days before my birthday. So I'm getting a baby for my birthday. Right. Epidural's in. She's oh. dilated to a six. Baby's coming today. But that epidural didn't even hurt. Uh, I know, you were so afraid of the epidural. And when it happened, you were so focused on the pain of the cramps that yeah. you didn't even feel the epidural. It feels so weird. The epidural makes your legs so heavy. It's like the biggest work. I don't think I could even lift it up if I wanted to. I can still feel them. They're my legs, but it's like a cloud. Well, at least you feel better, huh? That was, that was pretty intense. Her contraction monitor wasn't working fantastic, so they didn't really know where she was at. They knew things needed to get going, and so if they weren't going, they were gonna give her Pitocin. Anyway, long story short, they checked her and they're like, You're ready. You're ready, let's start pushing now. Okay, so they just let you know that you are ready to push. This baby's ready yeah, to come Yeah, they were going to do a internal contraction monitor. No they need. Even need. No to. need. Baby is ready. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so exciting. <sighs> a little baby. A flattened nose to the side. <laughs> If you had a rough start, I think we'll take him over to the NICU again and x-ray on him, make sure Ooh. things look good, okay? Congratulations, he's looking great That's right so now. Oh, look at his little tongue. Dad can come with us okay. if he wants to, okay? I am coming. Okay. I think I only pushed for like maybe half an hour. She pushed so fast. It was only four contractions that she pushed through. Uh, yeah. She is a Ooh. champ. <laughs> she, anything. You did so good. She did a hundred times better than I did. I'm just the stress ball over here no, and she's okay. just she's just the calm, collected one. Just I'll probably stress out well. later. Yeah. And then I'll be the calm one yeah. then. So I guess we balance each other out. Yeah. There you 
go, mm -hmm. Oliver. Maybe open to a bottle. Now he's doing a little bit better. I don't know. There's a little um, shell shocked when he came out, but that's kind of he's what doing I'm pretty good right here. now. He's like, I love that oxygen. It's so good to breathe. Mmm, nummy finger. So other than 10 seconds at the beginning, this is Anna's first time holding her son. Oh, here he comes. Time for mom to hold her baby. Oh, this is your first time holding him? Okay, we're down at the NICU the next morning. Aw, look at our family picture with the baby. There he is. He's doing really good. Look at that cute little baby. That's my boy. That's my boy. There you go. <laughs> oh yeah. How are you feeling at the end of day two? Tired. Tired? You got a really happy baby though. It's day three in the morning with the baby and he's got a Batman onesie on. Hi Ollie. How you doing? He had a nice poopy diaper for me to change and it was super messy and I did great. Okay, Oliver's gonna get a suntan now. He's got a little bit of jaundice, so he's got some UV light on him. It's basically the same as if he were sitting in the sun, soaking in those UV rays. What are three things you're excited about with the baby? To hold him whenever I want, to dress him up, and to feed him. To feed him, mm -hmm. yeah. Day four in the morning. Anna was checked out of the hospital yesterday, and so we slept our first night at home, sadly without the baby. How are you feeling, Mama? Good today. Good today? Much better. Oliver is doing really well. He's got his little medieval helmet on. He's off of his air, and he's off of his IV. Mama gets to hold the baby now. He's coming off the light. His eyes were open a second ago. Oh, hello. So cute. It's just his little eyes are so puffy. Huh. I believe we make one cute baby. And he's only gonna get cuter. Cute guy. Cute guy. We got a big baby. That's a scratchy kiss. That's what dad kisses are for. Mm, that's true. Day four in the evening. They told us there's a really good chance that he's going to be able to go home tomorrow. So we got our fingers crossed and hopefully we can bring this little guy home with us. Tell me three things you're excited about. I'm excited to bring him home and to just stare at him all the time and to give him back. Today is the day. It's day five and they told us we can come pick up our baby. Are you excited to pick up a baby? Quick. Your the baby. Unlock the car. You wanna pick up your baby? Freaking punch you in the face. Unlock the car. Gonna get a baby. I'm so excited, but I'm also so tired. Time to dress the baby. What's up, baby? Oh yeah. Just ate and he's active. <laughs> Look at that cute little luchador outfit that's too big for him. I didn't think it would fit him. Yeah, show the back. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Welcome home, baby. Time to meet your kitty siblings. Oliver, meet kitties. Kitties, meet Oliver. Welcome home, baby. <laughs> now let's have some adventures. I'm tippy tap, I'm I am dancing for my mom and Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a doll. He doesn't even look real. I'm, da I'm dancing when I am a man. <laughs> 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 